Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone Knight here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do special spyglass commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by that is that I have made two unique spyglasses that can very much help you in like uh, various situations that you would find very useful in. Now, before I go into more detail on what those spyglasses do guys, you know the drill. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so here are the commands right here. So it's just simply like two for, or just one for each spyglass here. So we've got the night vision spyglass and the thermal spyglass, which I'll explain what both of them do in a second. And as, as always, I will leave all of these commands here in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste them into your world later on. Now, let's begin. So first off, I'm going to demonstrate how each of them work and such. So let's set it to uh, midnight right now. So as you can see, I have two boxes. One with a villager in a plain cage and the other inside a big black concrete box. So first we have the night vision spyglass. So when you have it in your hand, and let me turn these on, it gives you night vision. And with this, you're basically able to see into the dark while holding the spyglass. And when you don't have it in your hand, it basically goes away. And now for the thermal spyglass. So, you guys probably probably know what thermal means. Like, it's basically like being able to, 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 sorry, to detect heat signatures in bodies. But in this case, this spyglass gives, well, mobs glowing effect. Kind of like having thermal vision that if you can't see anything invisible or can't see anything through solid objects you can be much use this spyglass which basically makes all entities glow so you can see through the walls or if they're invisible like say this wandering trader for example wandering traders always go invisible when it turns to nighttime so that way mobs don't see them but with the thermal spyglass i can pretty much see him standing right there just like that so it's mobs like these that you're able to see in plain sight. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, so now that you've seen that, let me show you the commands for it. They're really simple. So, so here's the first one, the, sorry, the night vision spyglass. So let's come to the beginning. So it's, if, so basically saying when the, special spyglass named night vision spyglass is selected it's going to run effect at p minecraft night vision three and then the true is for no particle effects and this one over here this this one is like when the special spyglass thermal spyglass is selected it's going to run this command so it's execute at p run effect give at E, not play, not player, or if you want to actually do players too, then all you got to do is uh, replace this with name, and then you can do your Minecraft username, if you want to do players as well, which is totally fine, up to you, and you do distance dot dot 50, so basically means any mobs with any mobs or players within a 50 block radius while using that thermal spyglass, you are able to have players glow, but any one of those entities outside the radius, you cannot. But I think 50 is a good radius for you to see a bunch of mobs within the spyglass's range, for sure. And then once you do that over here, you do Minecraft glowing. I put 20, but I don't think it needs really needs to be that high, so... But hey, it is what it is. And then true is for no particle effect. And yeah, that is pretty much special spyglass commands in Minecraft. And you can basically have them like both together. Like the cool thing is that if you want, you can quickly switch between spyglasses by pressing the number keys on your keyboard like this. So this is basically you can literally easily switch between the two spyglasses without having to click not hold the right click button anymore on your mouse you can just basically switch them like this no problem pretty nice huh okay anyway that is pretty much gonna wrap up for today's video guys so if you guys enjoyed this video want to see more videos like this 
Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another one of these videos. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye!